creme de la creme of Australian auctioneers. And this is the first time in a number of years that we've had all of the states and territories uh, represented, as well as New Zealand, of course, that's why it's Australasian. And uh, they are of the highest standard. Every year it seems to uh, raise a bar, uh, and it's just fabulous to see them all here in Perth. You just try not to freak out is the biggest thing when you when you get those pressure situations. Um, I guess we've got a formula where we keep coming back to what the number is and, and the next bid that we want and as long as you keep coming back to that you don't tend to lose your path too much. The standard is consistently high. You know, one of the key reasons that we participate in this competition is that we are constantly like uh, seeing the bar raised. You're always seeing the standard auctioneering go up. The event gets more professional uh, every year. You know, and that's what these things are all about. Yeah, we have a bit of banter in the back room and have a bit of a laugh and, and all give each other a bit of stick. Um, and I think everyone takes that with a grain of salt. You know, we all know while we're there, um, we're all in the same boat, so we've got a bit in common too. Um, so we, we get on pretty well, but there's always a bit of banter too. Look, it is uh, the pinnacle of uh, essentially their auctioneering career. To be able to win the Australasian auctioneering competition, to be able to say, I have won the competition and I am crowned the best auctioneer in Australasia for the year is a, is a wonderful honour and very well deserved for our winner. The winner from New Zealand, Daniel Colson. The easiest way I can explain a vendor bid, man, it's kind of like dancing with your sister. Legally, I can do it, but it's not going to get either of us anywhere. A million and seventy-five, and I'm in.